Fam, it's your boy N, and we are back for another video. I am both sad and happy. I'm happy because we got a full set of leaks, and those leaks being Madara and Hashirama, and they are 100% confirmed to be our next Sam Riki Shinobi, as we all anticipated. I am sad because I don't know how I will be able to save for anniversary. This is going to be a very big bait banner, but we do have full English translations and whatnot, so we're going to go over the kit, starting with Madara following Hashirama. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. So for Madra's EX Ultimate, I assume Majestic Attire, Susan O, Spiraling, Hellflame. Uh, so it's a Susan O that performs a wide range burning attack that not only causes various bad status elements, but also deals immense damage. So could lay down a damaging area, doesn't say specifically, but it looks to be a full room and it seems to be the nine tails covered in a Susan O, who then uh, rotates with a fire with two fire swords, something like that. So very interesting. Again, I'm not sure if it leaves a damaging area, but could possibly do so. Okay, for his jutsu, fire release, dancing flame clad sickle, meaning his weapon tool thing. Madara spins around dealing damage before slamming his sickle into the floor to damage the enemies and causing the sealed and slowed uh, status effects on them. Uh, so it did not say anything about stat negation, but it could possibly have that and maybe strip seal mm, could be interesting. I think it could be very similar to Edo Madra's limit break where he uses the same tool. He kind of spins around in the air, then he ends up hitting the ground with that fire tool. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see. Okay, we have his last ninjutsu called Fire Release Chaotic Flaming Wind Blade. Um, Madra continually strikes any opponent directly in front of him, moving forward and dealing damage. The attack also adds slowed, uh, slowed effect on any enemies that were hit. So his two jutsu seems to be attacking moves. Um, probably not a true iframe, but definitely a um, you know sort of a lunging type attack move. Maybe like a another Kawaki type Shinobi, something like that. He's definitely not a final four unit, it seems, but he's definitely for like a, a supporter slash defender. Maybe a main, we'll see. Okay, so we have Hashirama's new EX called Wooden Statue Iron Fist. By the looks of the animation, it looks very similar to his Edo Forms ones. The summon wooden statue jumps high into the air, crashing down onto the ground. Fist first in a single explosive attack that goes deals a extreme amount of damage um i think so he summons the statue and then it jumps into the air so maybe a delayed um final hit uh knockback something something like that very interesting maybe similar to sasuke's shadow susan oh when he jumps into the air and then lands the final blow so for his ninjutsu the first one is called uh great sword helmet crusher a highly accurate attack where hashirama gathers chakra and and puts it all into a massive downward thrust dealing damage to the opponent so evasion strip probably with highly accurate damage very interesting this move is from the storm games um like for ps and stuff like that uh with that giant chakra sword so it's very interesting for his last ninjutsu we have great sword single flash um hashirama charges forward uh moving down all those in his way decreasing uh hit enemies defense among other attributes so so again it's probably him charging in with his chakra blade not necessarily with chakra around him um so just looking so with his two ninjutsu i'm assuming like madara he's an outfield defender supporter maybe a main not a final four unit uh and then it depends on what other fix they have hashi seems to have evasion strip with stat negation or highly accurate damage something along those lines with Madra, maybe a seal strip move, stuff like that. Their kit and animation sound and look new. Uh, should be very exciting. Definitely a big bait banner before uh, the 6th anniversary, which most likely will have Jigen or Ishiki. Something along those lines and some probably new effects, some uh, higher limit breaks or whatever the case is. So this is definitely going to um, be a lot of trouble for us in the sense of uh, trying to save. Um, now again, when they do eventually come out, I will do some analysis on them and whatnot and see whether they are worth or not. But I'm pretty sure many of us will summon because they are the goats. So it just depends. But anyhow, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and the review. Peace out.